Thank you, Mayor. Thank you for the council, ladies and gentlemen. I'll make this one very, very brief. So the subject item is uh, parking restrictions on the east side of Brooker Street, South Pulse Avenue. Uh, was uh, recommended for approval by the Traffic Commission as TC 73-118. Um, the area that we're discussing is on the northbound direction of Brookhurst in front of the uh, new Bolsa Road development. There's a segment of the roadway there, a segment of the curb, excuse me, that is not designated with any parking restrictions. And many, many years ago, before my time, um, there were modifications to Brookhurst Street to introduce a third lane. Right, so we have six lanes total. And at the time, parking restrictions should have been implemented to make it an official parking restriction for the city code. And for some reason, it wasn't. Um, because it is a busy thoroughfare, people don't park there. But um, if they were and they get cited, they could technically contest the site. So what this item does is it actually corrects that condition and introduces official quote unquote, uh, parking restrictions or red curb through that segment. And that is for. Um, the total distance, uh, 295 feet of parking restriction. And that is uh, the recommendation the staff presents tonight. Mayor, I move to approve. Yes. Well, okay. Thank okay. you. All right. I have a uh, half question for staff. Yes, sir. Uh, um, by bringing in this item for um, approval, have you got a chance to communicate to um, the developers or the uh, rule because I think this is a practical rule in a way. And what it is that you do have a chance to talk about? So, yes, uh, the traffic commission meets uh, the last Tuesday of the month, and part of the part of the procedure is to notify businesses and residents within the surrounding area um, of anything that's going to be considered that night. Uh, and that also a representative was a, made itself uh, present at the traffic commission meeting and did not voice uh, any concerns. Uh, again, even if the project weren't there, the roadway needs the parking restrictions. It does not affect their project because effectively you can't park there. It's like it's a, it would be very dangerous if anybody tried parking in that through lane because it's a through right turn lane. Okay, uh, I understand that uh, at the uh, planning commission meeting, there is only three, uh, and we voted yes. We voted yes. Uh, I don't know what the other two. Uh, how they were? Uh, of course, they were not there. They can't, they can't have to say in it, but uh, you know that uh, if they raise any concern about anything about. Uh, they did not voice their concern ahead of the meeting. Uh, two of them were absent on that night. All right, next. Uh, I, I believe that uh, there's a motion and second on four. Is there any question from the council? Yes, Council Member uh, Yes, I have a question now. So, uh, Al, so this is you know, one of the, the case, and uh, I. I was wondering if uh, there's there's other cases that we the, the similar similar to this. I have you do any research or how do you know about this? So that that's a very good that's a very good question. Um, I've spent the last part of twenty years fixing things that we find uh, throughout the city. Uh, so a lot of the times this comes about when we're doing development review. Other times when our public works uh, officials are out um, and refreshing the curb markings, they'll bring certain things to our attention. Um, I would say that over the last 20 years, early in my career here, there was a lot of fixes. We were fixing a lot more things. I would say it's probably been about a year or two since we brought a, a correction to the council. Um, we are looking at ways, uh, funding for many or different grant opportunities to actually transition all of our markings and all of our signage citywide 
into a state-of-the-art database system, going back to technology enhancements, so that we actually would be able to verify every marking, every fire hydrant, every stop sign, every yield sign, and it would be uh, annotated and, and, and contained within a database. Until we get funding to do a systematic, you know, from one end of the city to the other, all we can really do is fix things as we discover. Okay, but with that, I, I, uh, I believe that the uh, staff have done a uh, diligent job uh, you know, uh, on, on this, um, working with the uh, um, residents and uh, all of the business. And uh, may I ask one more question? Sure, please. Okay, so beside this case, uh, what is the next case that we have? We don't, we don't know. Uh, we have, if we discover, become aware of a condition that is not legitimate, meaning it hasn't been brought to the council and is not recorded by resolution, then we'll, we'll correct it in the same manner. But at this time, it's our understanding that, that, are, that we're okay, right? Because um, we can't do a systematic search of every condition in the city. So it just depends on, uh, so how do you know? And and the, answer is that the, answer is, the answer is we don't know what else is out there until we discover it. And when we, obtain, when we obtain grant funding to be able to do a systematic, you know, one end of the city to the other, every street, map every sign, map every red marking, until we're able to do that collectively, uh, we don't really know what else is out can, uh, uh, can you do a research on the uh, hazard between the purpose and, uh, and water, please? Hazard between brokers. Okay. All right, thank you. Okay, uh, if there is no question on this and uh, comments on this, then uh, I believe that we have a motion and a second on the floor. Uh, we'll go for it. I have a motion made by Vice Mayor Ho and a second made by Council Delonzo. This is to adopt resolution number 5249, entitled A Resolution of the City Council of the City of Westminster, California. Providing no parking or stopping in a certain location on the east side on Burkhurst Street, south of Bolsa Avenue. I'm going to call roll. Councilwoman Pam West? Yes. Councilmember Monza? Yes. Councilmember Wynn? Yes. Vice Mayor Hill? Yes. And Mayor Wynn? Yes. Five zero motion carried. Thank you very much. Um, now it's time to uh, front park, right? <laughs> <laughs> Oral communication and comments and items. So, um, before I ask uh, the city clerk uh, to go over the, uh, you know, just for the record, the instruction, I would like to uh, um, remind you that we have the uh, rules of the quorum uh, policy from the city of Los um, that you know uh, a while ago, and let me go ahead and, and mention it a little bit. I hope that we. Uh, we follow the rules of the quorum that the policy put out. I I just want to ask you, please help me to do my job by um, uh, following the rules of the quorum, uh, treat everyone courteously, and listen to city officials, city staff, and other members of public respect, uh, respectively. Uh, exercise your self-control and avoid any threat of violence or loud, insulting, demeaning, or uh, offensive communication. Be open-minded uh, and consider all viewpoints. Uh, focus on the issues and avoid a personalizing debate. Um, allow all members of the public to speak without intimidation or interruption. Uh, of course, there are more than that. If you want to know, then you can always ask the staff. I believe that there's a copy uh, posted outside of the channel. So um, if you need more information, then you can, you can ask uh, staff for that. But um, at this time, I would like to ask uh, our city uh, Mr. Mayor. Uh, hold on, hold on. At this time, I want to ask the city club, the city club to go ahead and read the um, uh, the instruction into record, please. This is the time in the meeting that members of the public may address the City Council regarding any non agenda items that are within the subject matter jurisdiction. Unless otherwise extended by a majority vote of the City Council, comments shall be limited to three minutes per speaker. Any person wishing to address the City Council in person should complete a yellow speaker slip that is provided at the entrance to the Council Chambers and submit the card to the City Clerk. 
When your name is called, please step to the podium at that time and state your name and city of residence for the record. Thank you. Uh, I would like to recognize uh, Council Member West. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I think 10 o'clock is when we have to vote to extend time. I think the public comment may exceed 10 o'clock. Let's wait until then. Uh, we still have 15 minutes to go. So we'll go to the call first. Our first speaker is. We should from your reminder. Absolutely. Our first speaker is Terry Reeves. Goodbye, Amy. So much to say, so little time. Amy and Nampon, how dare you leave the dais during public comments? It is literally your job to listen to us. I had a great time at the successful <coughs> fundraiser to re elect Councilman Mans of District 2 in November. Charlie, Amy, and Nampon, you continue to blatantly disrespect this great country of ours, our beloved flag, and our brave American veterans. Residents were outraged to see you raise the flag of the former Republic of Vietnam before.